next so the mode no optimization rule based optimize with all constraints optimize with potential constraints only for the basic case for the easiest and the simplest operation we start with no optimization so the system the gap will only give us the separator pressure of 1000 psig and the maximum flow rate of 250 million standard cubic feet per day of gas okay so calculate you can see the gap will run the ambal the gap will run also the prosper and the calculation happens you can see this is the error numbers of iteration the step we are now in 2014 and the step maximum 122 okay so already done it's quite fast we can calculate we can back we can go go to the main window and we can also plot tanks or plot nodes let's plot tanks what happened equipment type tank gas reservoir plot last prediction run gas reservoir let's check the average gas production okay so you can see this is what happened okay you can also check the average oil production the reservoir pressure okay reduced from 5300 down through down to 3000 psig average gas production and others let's close it first main still zero stock tank barrel per day still not very good i think it should change the results yeah you can see we now have the results okay and plot so by operating the gap we will have yeah flow rate or all conditions in each line in each pipeline so in gas rate you can see pressure drop you can know the pre the pressure drop right it's very important you can know the water rate interesting click ok yeah usually we will have everything written here so if we yeah touch this line there should be flow rate of oil something stock tank barrel per day flow rate of gas also and others let's try or let's check the line first this is for line one you can plot the gas rate okay again the pressure drop you can plot many things c factor pressure drop due to friction pressure drop due to gravity pressure drop due to acceleration right it's important but the most important thing is also is of course the gas flow rate okay click ok j3 also results plot liquid rate mass flow rate okay click ok and line four plot gross heating value okay pipe and pipe two 
beautiful. Also the separator. This is the results for separator. Plot. Gas rate. Okay. Yeah, you can see we still cannot reach or we cannot keep maximum flow rate of 250. Here we achieve 300. Although we said earlier that the maximum flow rate is only 250 that we will allow. So yeah, we can do the separator again, for example, change the input here, or we can do prediction. Next, next, next. But now we will use either rule-based, we can try or optimize with all constraints. Okay, calculate. So the gap will optimize the system with all the constraints that we give. Just want to check what will happen. Okay. So if you have many constraints, you can put all the constraint in the gap software and the gap will calculate it for us. So let's check the plot tank, plot tanks, plot, reservoir pressure, average gas rate, remove all. Yeah, still above 300. Still no difference, but regarding the results, I think we can, yeah, we can, it's quite satisfactory, these results, the oil rate, the gas rate, and others, right? Yeah, so basically this is the network simulation. This is the integrated simulation covering the reservoir simulation using material balance with MBAL software and well modeling, well simulation using Prosper software and the integration, the network simulation using GAP software. Okay, so it's quite easy, but of course you need to take some time to set everything up, the EMBAL model, the PROSPER model, also the GAP model. Okay, so I think we can call it a day. Maybe in the next section, we can discuss about other cases. Okay, but hopefully you already understand the sequence, the big picture of the integrated simulation, okay? integrated petroleum simulation from reservoir simulation, well simulation, and network simulation, or production systems simulation, or surface facility simulation. Okay. Okay, but lastly, lastly, maybe, what if we solve network? 